Welcome back to Podcast Zombies, and today um, we're going to be talking about something very deep. And yeah, um, if you're new here, I'm Sebastian Dupree. Very young. And this is Podcast Zombies. Okay, so this week, or this coming up week, we're going to be talking about serial killers. And today we have Jeffrey Epstein. What do you know about Jeffrey Epstein? I just know he was a pedophile, and he was involved with sex trafficking. He got put in prison, and some say he killed himself, and some say he was murdered. I believe he was murdered. Um, from what I've read, articles, uh, he was a New, a New York-based financier um, with high-profile ties to the world's um, ultra-wealthy and powerful people. Um, he was accused of sexually abusing many underage girls. Um, Epstein was finally caught, finally, and charged with soliciting a minor for prostitution in Florida in 2008 and became a registered sex offender. Of his 18th month um, prison sentence, he served 13 months. In July of 2019, Epstein was arrested again, this time on federal charges of sex trafficking minors. Now that's something you never want to hear. While um, awaiting trial, he was found dead in his jail cell on August 10, 2019. The medical examiner concluded his death was by suicide, but a separate investigation prompted by Epstein's family suggests he may have been murdered. And um, just a quick question, why do you think he did not kill himself? Uh, just because some of his family members said that they didn't think he did. And, um, the camera footage was erased that was video in his jail cell and he was supposed to have like 24 hour surveillance with guards checking in and all that, none of that happened. Well, what I thought was, um, you know, uh, he was awaiting trial, and with all of the charges that he had, that he knew he was never going to get out alive, I guess. And so he just ended his life. Maybe. We'll probably never know. Nope. Jeffrey Epstein was born on January the 20th, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York. His mother, Pauline, worked part-time as a social aide, and his father, Seymour, was a groundskeeper for the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. Epstein, along with his younger brother, Mark, were raised in a middle-class environment. Remarkably bright, Epstein skipped two grades and graduated from Brooklyn's Lafayette High School at the age of 16. Although he enrolled at Cooper Union and later at New York University in the early 1970s, he never received degrees at either school. Uh, but Epstein got a job teaching calculus and physics at the Dalton School and Upper East Side Prep School in 1974 when he was 19, 20 years old. Um, however, his employment was short-lived. He was fired two years later for poor performance. Uh, before Epstein left his teaching job at the Dalton School, he was able to make an important connection with one of his students' parents, Alan Greenberg. The CEO of Bear Stearns, Bear, Bear Stearns? Yeah. impressed by Epstein's acuity, uh, Acuity with numbers, Greenberg gave him an assistant job at Bear Stearns in 1976. Um, from there, he quickly climbed the ladder, eventually advising some of the company's wealthiest clients. In 1981, Epstein left Bear Stearns and established his own financial consulting firm. Intercontinental Assets Group Incorporated, in which he helped clients recover embezzled money and also assisted clients who were embezzlers. It was around this time he began telling friends and colleagues that he worked 
as an intelligence agent, a claim that has never been verified. However, his associate, association with powerful businessmen who did deals with a variety of governments, as well as the extensive travels overseas in the mid-1980s, all pointed to the possibility that his claim to be true. In 1987, Epstein began consulting for a collection agency called Tower Financial Corporation. And it ended up being half a billion dollar Ponzi scheme. Uh, he was said to be one of the masterminds behind the scheme, but he ended up getting away unscathed, leaving Tower for a few uh, years before it fell apart in 1993. In 1988, Epstein set up J. Epstein and Company, which would later be renamed Financial Trust Company, a financial management firm that purportedly only served billionaires. It was during this time he became the financial advisor to billionaire Leslie Wexner, who was the CEO of L Brands and Victoria's Secret. Starting in the mid-1990s, he moved his company to the U.S. Virgin Islands to avoid paying taxes. That's what some people do. Mm -hmm. They're rich, but... They're evil. In the early 2000s, Epstein expanded his portfolio to include financial media companies, developing securities funding, and investing hedge um, funds and startups. He also created his own nonprofit, the Jeffrey Epstein Six Foundation, to donate millions to institutions like Harvard University. To this day, no one who has um, uncovered the various sources of his expectational wealth. With his net worth being uh, counted in the billions, Forbes disputes this. Epstein lived in Jet Setter's life and mingled with the world's elite, which included former presidents Bill Clinton and Donald Trump. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates and Kevin Spacey, lawyer Alan Dershowitz, and Prince Andrew, the last who um, was mired in controversies for the years after a young woman who was procured by Epstein told the media she was forced to have sexual relations with multiple, multiple times with the prince when she was a teenager, um, starting in 1999. Andrew, who stepped back from the royal duties in 2019, paid a settlement to his accuser in 2022. Epstein had reportedly provided underage girls and young women to his powerful friends and installed vast surveillance systems throughout, throughout his properties in New York. Palm Beach and the U.S. Virgin Islands to record their sexual activities as a means of blackmail. With his business operations set up in the U.S. Or in the U.S. Virgin Islands, Epstein bought an adjacent 72-acre island called Little St. James for just shy of eight million dollars in 1998. Um, it is alleged that this is where he operated his sex trafficking uh, activities and where most of his pedophilic, pedophilia activities occurred. Some of the youngest girls who were trafficked onto the island were said to be 12 years old. A believer in eugenics and transhumanism, Epstein bought a ranch near Stanley in New Mexico where he intended to seed the human race with his DNA, end quote, by inseminating at least 20 women so reported by an August 2019 article in the New York Times. In 2005, the parents of 14-year-old girl told, author told authorities in Palm Beach, Florida that Epstein had sexually abused their daughter. Although the investigation eventually uncovered dozens of young women and minors who had allegedly been sexually abused by Epstein, he was ultimately charged on just two accounts, soliciting a minor for prostitution and procuring minors for prostitution. Putting a sweetheart deal with Florida authorities, Epstein agreed to plead guilty to the felony prostitution charges in 2008. He served 13 months of his 18-month sentence in prison with a generous work release and was ordered to pay three dozen of his victims in restitution and register his name on the 
sex offender grow. It was later revealed that Alexander Acosta, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida at the time, felt he had no choice but to offer the lenient deal to Epstein because, according to Acosta, he was told the financier was secretly working for the government. However, Epstein wasn't untouchable. His look ran out in July 2019 when authorities in Florida arrested him for his suspicion of sex trafficking minors, pleading not guilty. He was denied bail and sent to the Metropolitan Correctional Center in New York City to await trial. On July 23, 2019, Epstein was discovered with his neck injuries in his cell and was placed on suicide watch. Less than three weeks later, Epstein's body was discovered in his jail cell at Manhattan's Metropolitan Correctional Center on the morning of August 10, 2019. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank Bye. you. Bye.